The goal of a free society, from me, my viewpoint, is to seek virtue and excellence. And only we as individuals can do that. When we turn this over to the government, when we seek our king and depend on our king, it can only be done at the sacrifice of liberty. And that means eventually all liberties, our, our personal liberties, our, our civil liberties, our religious liberties, our right to teach our children, our responsibility to teach our children, whether it's homeschooling or religious school. It's always an attack. The more we turn it over to the government. It was a sad day in this country when we went this full measure about acknowledging the authority of the federal government to educate our children. There was a time when the Republican Party said that we shouldn't even have a Department of Education and I believe it should go back to the family, not the federal government. If we, if we do not get our moral values from our government, which I think it's impossible to get it from them, where does it come from? First, it comes from us as individuals. We have the responsibility for uh, dealing with our eternity and salvation. But we have our responsibility to ourselves to do the best we can with our own lives. But then our next step is our families, you know, our children and our parents, uh, and then our neighbors and our churches. That's where the moral value should come from. And quite frankly, that is where I think we have slipped. So you can pass all the laws that you want. You can fight more wars than ever that's going to bring us peace and prosperity. But if the basic morality of the people does not change, it will not matter. We must change our hearts if we expect to change our family and treat our family values as they should be. We have been blessed in this country by having the freest and the most prosperous. We've had a good constitution, far from perfect. But today we are living way beyond our means. We are living in debt, and debt is not a biblical principle, whether it's personal debt or whether it's a national debt. We owe $3 trillion to people overseas. We are suffering from a mountain of debt because we have accepted this idea that we have this responsibility to mold the world, mold the people, and mold the economy. Government is incapable of doing that. The responsibility of the government is to provide the environment which is proper to allow us to thrive, for us to, to work hard and have the incentive. If we have our right to... If we have a right to our life and our liberty, why is it that we don't fight for the right to keep the fruits of our labor? If we, if we accepted that, there would be no demands for the king. The people, the early Israelites, demanded the king to be taken care of. But we have too, and we have accepted this notion as a country and as a whole, that the king will take care of us. But I prefer the different king, the original king, the instruction that comes from our creator, not from our government. Our government should be strictly limited to the protection of the liberties that allow us to thrive. And that... And our liberties and our economy, they are under attack today. There is no doubt about it. So we will have to meet up and make these decisions. To me, the most important decision that we have to ask, just as they ask at, you know, in, in biblical times as well as at the time of our founding of this country, what should the government be like? What should the role of government be? It isn't, you know, where do you cut this penny or this penny and what do we do here and there and tinker around the edges? It should be what should the role of government be? The founders said the role of government ought to be the protection of liberty. That is what the role of government ought to be.
But the experiment is about to end unless we reverse this trend. I would say that we have gone downhill nearly for a hundred years, especially for the last ten and especially for the last four when we think of our economy. But the real challenge is, are we going to transition from the republic uh, to the empire and to dictatorship? And there are so many signs that we are transfer, you know, transforming into empire and dictatorship. And just think of the bearing down on our personal liberties today. Think about what happens when we go to the airports. Think about now you have no privacy whatsoever. Now the government can look into every single thing. So we li are living in an age where government is way too big and it's time this government act properly and that is to protect our freedom. The, the if you read the Constitution carefully, you will find out that the Constitution is directed at the government. There are restraints placed in the Constitution on you. The restraints are that you don't hurt and kill people, that you fulfill your promise that you're honest and fulfill your moral obligation. The restraints are placed on the federal government. So as long as we allow the federal government to grow and we don't obey those restraints, things will get worse. But the good news is there's a whole generation of Americans right now rising up and saying we were on the right track at one time. Let's get back on that track. Let's restore liberty to this country and prosperity and peace.